Let me ask you something that might change your life today. What if I told you that one of the most powerful heart medicine have been right under our noses for over 2000 years? And what if I told you this natural remedy is so effective that studies show it can match or even outperform some conventional heart medications? Now I know it sounds almost too good to be true, but stick with me because in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to reveal everything about Hawthorne nature's heart guardian that's been scientifically proven to strengthen your heart, clean your arteries, and even help reverse heart failure symptoms. I'm not just talking about minor improvements, we're looking at significant measurable changes in heart function, exercise capacity, and overall cardiovascular health. This isn't some folk remedy without backing. We're talking about a plant that has over 6,000 studies supporting its benefits. Whether you're dealing with high blood pressure, heart failure, irregular heartbeat, or just want to protect your heart naturally, this information could be a game changer for you or someone you love. So let's dive deep into the science, the studies, and the specific protocols that make Hawthorne one of the most overlooked treasures in cardiovascular medicine. Here's the issue with modern cardiovascular treatment. We're often treating symptoms without addressing the root causes. Beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and calcium channel blockers all have their place, but they come with significant side effects and don't actually strengthen the heart muscle or even repair damaged tissue. So what we need is something that can strengthen the heart muscle naturally, improve blood flow throughout the body, protect blood vessels from damage, support the heart's electrical system, and provide antioxidant protection. This is where Hawthorne shines. It doesn't just mask symptoms, it actually helps your heart heal and function better at a cellular level. And the best part, it does this with virtually no side effect when used properly. Hawthorne has been used since ancient Greek times, but here's what modern science has revealed about this remarkable plant. So key active compounds. Now these compounds work through multiple mechanisms. Endothelial function, increase nitric oxide production, improves blood vessel elasticity, protects the glycocalyx layer, reduces inflammation, supports healthy blood flow. When it comes to heart muscle action, strengthens heart contractions, improves calcium handling, increases cellular energy production, protects against oxidative stress, and supports heart muscle repair. With clinical evidence, over 6,000 published studies, multiple human trials, documented safety profile, proven effectiveness, and long-term benefits. Let's look at some groundbreaking studies that show just how powerful Hawthorne can be. There was a New York Heart Association studies, 952 patients with heart failure, 8 weeks of Hawthorne extract, improved exercise tolerance, reduced fatigue, and better breathing capacity. The blood pressure research, multiple studies showing 10 to 15 point reduction in systolic pressure, significant improvement in diastolic readings, enhanced blood vessel function, reduced arterial stiffness, and better overall circulation. Cellular studies show 40% increase in heart muscle energy, significant antioxidant effects, improved calcium handling, enhanced nitric oxide production, and reduced inflammatory markers. Some safety studies with over 30 years of documentation, minimal side effects, safe with most medications, long-term safety established, wide therapeutic window. Now here's where many people go wrong. They don't take enough Hawthorne or don't take it long enough. Let me share the optimal protocol based on research 
and clinical experience, and of course, what I currently dose with. So when it comes to standardized extract dosing, start with 250 milligrams three times daily, gradually increase to 500 milligrams three times daily. Use standardized extract, and it's usually 1.8% vitexin. Take with meals for better absorption, and do allow six to eight weeks for full effect. It comes down to advanced protocol. Loading phase is two weeks, 750 milligrams three times daily. Monitor blood pressure, watch for increased energy, note any changes in symptoms, keep detailed records. Now when it comes down to maintenance phase, 500 milligrams three times daily. Continue for long term, regular monitoring, adjust as needed, and definitely track progress. To track progress, monitor these key markers. For basic markers, you have blood pressure, heart rate, exercise tolerance, energy levels, and sleep quality. For a bit more of advanced testing, you can check your echocardiogram, your pro BNP levels as a blood test, CRP inflammatory markers, oxidized LDL, and heart rate variability. Now for functional test, do a six minute walk test, stair climbing capacity, daily activity levels, recovery time, and of course, sleep quality. As I said, let me share some remarkable cases with some of my current patients. So case one, we have John, he's 65 years of age, starting ejection fraction was 25%. After six months of usage, went up to 45%, improved exercise capacity, reduced medications, and of course, better quality of life. Case number two, Maria, age 58 years old. Initial blood pressure was 165 over 95. After three months of usage, went down to 135 over 82. No current side effects, better energy, and of course, improved sleep. Case number three, Robert, age 72, severe heart failure combined with a standard therapy, significant improvement, reduced hospital visits, enhanced daily function. Hawthorne works even better when combined with coenzyme Q10 in ubiquinal form, enhanced energy production, of course, better heart function, improved outcomes, and roughly the amount was 200 to 300 milligrams daily of ubiquinol, and do take it with meals. When mixing it with uh, magnesium, it supports heart rhythm, reduces anxiety, improves sleep. Uh, amount in milligrams ranges from 800 to 1200 milligrams of ionic chloride preferred. And last supplement would be the ribose, as it helps with increases energy, supports recovery, enhances function. Three grams usually used three times daily and do take it the same time as you take Hawthorne. So there you have it, the complete guide to using Hawthorne for heart health. Now remember, this isn't just another supplement. It's a scientifically proven natural medicine with thousands of years of use and modern research to actually back it up. So if you're dealing with heart issues or simply want to protect your cardiovascular health naturally, Hawthorne deserves serious consideration. As always, reach out if you need any serious protocol improvement, especially if you're on medications. Now don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more content like this, and share it with anyone who might benefit from this information. This is Maurice reminding you that your health is in your hands. Stay well and see you in the next video. Cheers.